So yeah, guys, I uh, absolutely love this knife. Uh, I did take this apart and adjust the issues that I talked about. I fixed the detent, I cleaned it up. Everything is fine on this. I'm not gonna go back and film the body of the video. It's been hours ago since I filmed it, but I have to say it is hilarious. I've looked for this knife literally for about a month and a half now. And it's been inside the love seat out here in the studio. I fell asleep out here one evening after I'd done some filming and it fell out of my, I had it in my hand, fell down inside the cushions, found it when I was looking for something else that I knew was in the couch. So this thing is great. I will put a link down below to pick one up. If you can find them, they are amazing. I love everything about this knife. Except, I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, like I said in the intro, there's a reason it's been so long since we've seen this knife and got around to doing the final review. This is the QSP Pelican, and I'll explain it in a little bit. I carried this knife a lot for a good period of time. And then it fell down inside my love seat out here in the garage, and I've been looking for it for weeks. Uh, but this honestly is probably, if not, it's one of the best, if not the best, Warren Cliff folding knives on the market today. And I say that because it's got so much going for it. You've got these big handles, big blade, nice transition, really good quality. Let's get some specs out of the way before we go too far. So this is coming in overall length 8.25 inches. So it is a big warning folder. Uh, your blade length is 3.75 inches with a cutting length of 3.5 inches. You've got a uh, 20, or I'm sorry, uh, S35BN blade on this. Your handle length is 4.62 inches. It's done in black micarta. Your weight on this is 4.74 ounces. So it's not super heavy for a big knife. There's a lot of knife here. You got a titanium pocket clip. This thing is amazing. So let's get some knives out for size comparison because just giving you the numbers doesn't really give you a good matchup. So first knife is the Begletter XL by Kaiser simply because that's what's in my pocket today, which is not a small knife. This is a nine inch overall knife. You can see coming in close. Your next knife is the Benchmade 940, which is a knife most of you guys are gonna know. You can see this is a lot bigger. And your final knife as always, is the Chris Reese Sabenza Large 21. So you can see still a good bit larger than the Sabenza. So let's get this out of the way and talk about this okay. knife. So I did carry this knife a lot. I carried this knife a lot. I decided I'm keeping this. I was going to give this away. I absolutely fell in love with this knife and I carried it almost daily until the time it came up missing when I took a nap on the love seat out here in the studio. So you have a huge, broad, long, I mean, it's, it's feel, it's not as long as it actually feels to tell you the truth, but Warren Cliff style blade that comes down to a really nice angle. It is completely straight. The grind on this is beautifully done. I have yet to have a QSP knife that is not good. This thing cuts really well, not so much because it does, I mean, it does have good blade geometry and behind the edge thickness, but also because of the way it feels in hand and allows you to power into it. So really, really well done blade. The finish on it is beautiful. The grind on it is just about perfect. There's no flaw in this. It's not asymmetrical. I, QSP does such a good job on their edge grinds and blade grinds. This is a flipper only. I would imagine you could get on it enough. If you, you can get on it enough to flip it with the flat of the blade, like reverse flick. The flipper has got just enough jimping on it. Oops, sorry. Just enough jimping on it to uh to make it comfortable but not too much it needs cleaned it's dirty um not enough to make it feel sharp the uh, handles on it are nice and contoured they are done in black micarta this comes in several different versions this one's in black micarta black micarta with a liner lock it is running on bearings and the action is pretty good pretty smooth in hand, however, that's where it really shines because you've got all this area that's nice and flat across the back, but it's been contoured and chamfered over so it's nice and soft. But then you've got this swell here. So your hand drops in here, not up, not necessarily up against the flipper tab, but in this area here. And so you've got a really good purchase so you can power into cuts and then it swells up and fills your hand. So it's stable. It doesn't feel like you're going to come out of the knife at all. 
And then when you get up on it like this, you can definitely power down into it. But the other thing is with this being fairly straight, you don't have any areas that feel weird and you can get way up on this and use this for cutting around things, cutting cardboard, things like that, that typically you would do with this style blade. Now, this is a longer knife. Like I said, it's coming in just shy of eight and a half inches on the mat, just coming in at just shy eight and a half inches. Is that, I'm sorry, eight and, I'm sorry, just coming in shy of nine inches, eight, just a little over eight and a half. Um, but it doesn't feel out of sorts. You don't feel like you are too far back. You've got really good control of it. A lot of times when you get knives, that are getting into the eight inch length. A lot of people love them. I find that they can feel awkward and this does not have that issue. You got really good access to the lock bar. And like I said, there is not an uncomfortable grip on this. They did such a good, good job. I find that in this pinch grip, it definitely excels because you've got that low spot there. You're up on the blade, but then you've still got that support just all around a great, great knife. Now, there are a couple negative things on this, and we will talk about those. Let's flip this around right after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee. We're going to look at the negative stuff. Guys, you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. So there are just a couple negative things here on this. Uh, first and foremost, the jimping is a little soft. It, it could have been much sharper. It seems as though this is another one of those knives that they did the jimping and then tossed it into the stone wash. Uh, I'd like to see companies maybe start masking their jimping before they do that. That would that would be great. Uh, next thing, it does have a, the the action is a little soft on the flipper tab. You can see that I missed it a couple times that it didn't deploy all the way. I was trying not to say anything about it, but it is a little soft. Sometimes you got to give it a little wrist. I may take this apart and just strengthen the detent a little bit on it. It could just be that it's dirty, but I noticed it when I first got it. It was a little soft, so you can make it fail to deploy. And there is another issue that I have got with it it's got a little bit of lock stick and uh, I've tried to clean it up. I may try putting a little bit of graphite on here. I hadn't tried that yet. It, it's not always there. It comes and goes, but sometimes it's significant. There's times where it just doesn't want to deploy. And then as always, you guys know, I hate it. I wish they could have put, I wish they could have put a plate, a pin in here for a, a lanyard hole instead of a lanyard hole. Uh, you know what I mean? But other than that, just a great, great knife. As far as all around, like feel in hand and cutting, probably one of the best Warren Cliff knives on the market today. It's it's hands down one of my favorites. It's going in my collection to stay there. So that's it on this one, guys. Let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. Go, guys! Inside the couch, inside the love seat, out here in the studio. That's where I found this. So, I, all joking aside. The things that I mentioned at the very end are all things that can be overcome. As a matter of fact, the issues that some of the issues that I mentioned, I have resolved just by taking it apart, cleaning it, and lubricating it because it was really dirty. Uh, I'm not going to go back and refilm the body of the video, but just know that some of the negative stuff is easily correctable, especially adding a little bit more tension to the detent or the lock bar for detent. So, with that being said, guys, I have started a community Discord for everyone. There'll be a link to it down below. Anyone can join it. It's just there for fun so you guys can hang out and get to know each other and things like that. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you guys know there's uh, sponsors. I talked about Coffee Brand Coffee in the video. I also have Tempered Trail. There's links to those down below. There's also a coupon code of Crazy Sharp that saves you at checkout at both of those. Uh, coffee Brand Coffee is an amazing sponsor. Go check them out. If you don't like their coffee, they have a money back guarantee, but pretty much going to guarantee you're going to like the coffee. You can use that coupon code of Crazy Sharp as well over at FarronForgeKnifeWorks.com and Rosecraft Blades. They have added that to their discount codes. I don't make any money when you purchase things from them, but it just is a discount for you guys. I've got an Amazon store down below. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you do. And I have a membership that's all tier-based, a bunch of different benefits. Everyone has access to the private Discord. 
Uh, everyone gets early access to videos. Everyone uh, gets exclusive content when I do it. The baseline and premium guys are entered into giveaways that I do on the uh, the Gilded Discord server, on the private di chat server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.